Okay, so I am in the console and what I want to do is launch EC2 instances so that we can see them in Systems Manager. So I'll click on Launch Instances and I will choose Amazon Linux 2. The reason I do this is that it comes with the SSM agent installed out of the box. So I'll click on it and next I will select T2 Micros because they're free and I click on Configure Instance Details. For this, I will choose to create three instances. You're more than welcome to just have one, but I want to do examples with many different instances. So in this case, I'll just choose three. Importantly, I need to have an IAM role and that IAM role needs to be able to talk to SSM. So what I'll do is I'll create a new IAM role and I'll create a role. It's for EC2 and then I go for permissions. Here I will talk to SSM. I will look for SSM and there is a role called Amazon EC2 role for SSM. And that's the default policy for Amazon EC2 for systems manager service role. So this policy, if we look at it, basically allows us, as I scroll down, to do a lot of things on SSM and for our instances to report to SSM. Without it, SSM would not see our instances. So I'm happy with this one. I'll tick it. Yes. Then I click on tags, click on review, and I'll just name it Amazon EC2 role for SSM. Something quite simple. I'll create a role and we're done. Now I go back to EC2 and I'll refresh my IAM roles. And now I can select Amazon EC2 role for SSM. Great. Then I click on add storage and I'll have a root volume. Excellent. Add tags and then configure security group. And for this one, I can create a new security group and I'll just call it SSM managed instances. And what I'll do is that I'll remove the SSH security group uh, rule. So there is no security groups rule at all in my managed instances. And you'll see, you may be asking, why is it doing this? Well, you'll see it's pretty cool. I'll click on review. I'll just give a description, SSM, and then I'll click on review and launch. Launch, and I'll select an existing key pair, AWS course, and click on launch instances. Now this is going to create three instances for me. So I go and click on view instances, and now they're getting started. Let's go back to systems manager. In Systems Manager, we have a lot of different menu. But so what's important to know is that for our instances to appear in Systems Manager, we need to go to Managed Instances. Managed Instances is a way to centrally view all the instances that SSM manages. And so how it works is that we need to verify prerequisites, install SSM agents, if not installed by default, but for us, it was installed by default, configure the instance role, we've done this, and then they will appear right here. Now that my three EC2 instances are launched, we should be able to access them in Systems Manager. So you go there and you refresh the page and under Manage Instances, now we see our three instances are online and they're all managed by Systems Manager. We can see the instance ID, we can see the IP addresses, the computer name, and then we can see direct links to the EC2 instances. So this is pretty awesome. This is just the beginning, but here we've launched three EC2 instances and we'll do lots of fun stuff with it, but we wanted to have them visible under SSM. So here they are under manage instances. If we didn't install that uh, IAM role, Amazon EC2 role for SSM, then it would have not worked because it wouldn't be able to report to SSM. Okay, so that's it for this lecture. I just want to show you how to launch EC2 instances that can be managed by SSM. In the next lecture, we'll have a play with them.